is Aziz Inan. I'm a professor of electrical engineering teaching at University of Portland, Portland, Oregon. I'm going to talk about palindrome dates today. One reason is because uh, next Monday, February 1st, 2010, is going to be a palindrome date in most of the countries in the world. The reason for that is if you write the date number of February 1st, 2010 in the day, month, year format as year 2010 and then February 1st. This number, which is 1st February 2010, happens to be a palindrome number. What that means is, whether you read it left to right, or you read it right to left, it's the same number. These dates are called palindrome dates. There are going to be 29 palindrome dates in this century. This is going to be the third one. The second one occurred in the year 2002. That was 20 February 2002. The one before that, the first palindrome date of this century, occurred in the year 2001. If you take 2001 to find that palindrome date that occurred in the year 2001, if you take the year number, mirror image or reflected to the other side, like a mirror image reflection, it's going to look like 2001, which is another palindrome number. So this date corresponded to 10 February 2001. Now, interestingly enough, the palindrome date before the one in 2001 occurred a long time ago. That palindrome date, the last palindrome date of the second millennium, occurred in the year 1192. And again, if I take 1192 reflected, that corresponds to 29 November 1192. That was almost like 800 some years ago. This tells you how rare palindrome dates could be. As I said, in this century, there are going to be 29 of them. In the next century, the 22nd century, there are going to be uh, 31 of them. All together, in this millennium, we are in the third millennium, in this millennium, there are going to be 60 palindrome dates in this date format. 29 of them in the 21st century, 31 of them in the 22nd century. And there is not going to be any more palindrome dates between the 23rd and the 30th centuries of this millennium. It turns out palindrome dates are usually clustered, are always actually clustered, at the beginning of a millennium. Like in this millennium, they are only going to occur in the 21st and 22nd centuries. And there are going to be 60 of them altogether, 29 being in this century. And the third one is coming up, February 1st, 2010. This coming Monday is going to be the third palindrome date of this century. There were 61 palindrome dates in the second millennium. And those palindrome dates occurred in the 11th and 12th centuries of the second millennium. This being the last one, 29 November 1192. Now, there were no palindrome dates in the 20th century, nor in the 19th century, nor in the 18th century. For example, the reason why there was no palindrome date in the 20th century is very simple. If I take a year in the 20th century, which typical year, except the last year, which is 2000, start with the number 19. This is a year number that falls in the 20th century. If I take this year number, mirror image it on the other side, I'm going to get 19AB. If you consider this to be a date number, you notice that the month number 
is given by 91. You can't have a num month number which is 91 because the highest month number you can have is 12. This is why the 20th century did not have any palindrome dates. As simple as this. The fact that the month number cannot exceed 12 determines how many palindrome dates you can have in what century.